I'm with Raluca Dode, who looks after social media for applications, I believe. Yes, for customer experience and human capital management. Great. So, so you've got a couple of hubs there to look after. Yes. Um, let me ask you, what's working for B2B? How you're interacting? What platforms are working? Could you could you tell us a bit about that experience? Definitely. So uh, it definitely helps if we are on the right platforms for the B2B customers, or so LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter, and of course adapting the message to the right platform. For Facebook, we have more of a video-oriented content or visuals, or try to have photo quizzes for Fridays and engage. So more relevant. Exactly, more relevant to the platform. And for LinkedIn, we are focusing on third-party content or really industry-related uh, content for those specific uh, followers and fans. So you look after a set of countries. In fact, it's a global. Yeah, global hubs for both wow. CX and ACM. So right. do you find particular countries working, not working? How is that with, with different areas? Yeah, I think the key is to like have the right content at the right time for the different time zones. So if we post a message for the EMEA fans, we know exactly how it works with them and uh, when exactly they interact. So you get the, oh, so you get yeah. the timing points. Yeah, okay. we have a social monitoring tool that tells us exactly what messages work and what are the dates and, uh, and times when the, the messages get more engagement, more tweets, more likes, more shares. And so it's more the timing. More social interaction, Absolutely. exactly. The timing and the right content, definitely. Okay, so can you, obviously we know what does work when yeah. you're talking about the engagement tools. Is there anything that doesn't work? Have you tried something and, and failed? Yeah, I think it's uh, going back to the timing as well because we might have like a really, really great article that or a blog post or a video that we're trying to promote and that we say this is great for our fans, they would love it. But I when we didn't have this uh, time chart with the best time to post, we just posted whenever and it didn't and get it any interaction, any shares, so it was not of any use to anyone. But it's good to test, isn't it? Yeah, it's good to test, test trial and error and see whatever works for, for our fans and followers. Yes, yeah. and, and of course it's about the interaction, the speed, the timing, and it's making it suit the customer rather than we've got something to say, let's yeah. just say it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So if we have like re really great content that we produce, it's better to wait until the time is right for the right people so that we have the maximum amount of interaction. And impact. And impact, yeah, exactly. Sure. And our message is delivered and we encourage conversation, not only bro broadcast everything. Raluca, thank you very much. Thank you for having me here. Pleasure. Pleasure. <laughs>